Hey guys and gals, it's your boy The Terrain and welcome back to another resource pack tutorial and today we are going to be covering one of the most requested topics on this channel on how to make custom armor using only a resource pack and the Optifine mod. Now I found out the guy who was standing over here last time, his name is Ivan, he's a banana monkey and uh, he's, he's pretty chill, not gonna lie to you. And he set up a little demonstration in this uh, spot over here. So we're going to go see what he set up. But he told me it was about emerald armor. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. So, okay. So he set up some netherite gear. So let's just, uh, well, let's just take it. Let's see, see how it looks. Okay. Yeah, it's netherite gear. All right. That, that's normal. Okay. There's a sign that says, Psst, rename me emerald blank. All right, let's put on the things called Emerald Blank. They have green names. Oh, would you look at that? It's, a, it's custom armor. So this is what we are going to be creating in today's episode. And before we start this, you are going to need a few things. The first things first, you're gonna need Minecraft, obviously. Secondly, you're gonna need Optifine. I am using 1.16.3 and it works on there, but I believe 1.15 and above will work. And this will not work without Optifine, so please, for the love of God, do not keep commenting that. I, I cannot. I can't. You're also going to need an image editing software such as paint.net, which can edit .png files, but Photoshop or GIMP will also work. And finally, you're going to need a text editing software that can edit .properties files. So I'm going to use Notepad++, but if you want to use Sublime Text or VS Code or Atom or whatever, that will work too. So without further ado, let's head to the desktop and I will show you guys how to make this armor. All right, so I am on my desktop currently with one of the sickest backgrounds I could find on Google. And we're gonna head down over to the search bar and we're going to look up percent app data percent. In here, we're gonna go up to dot Minecraft. We're gonna go over to resource packs. We're going to open up our resource pack tutorial or whatever pack you are going to be using. We're gonna go to assets, Minecraft, we're going to have to make an Optifine folder or go into the one that you already have. You're probably going to have to make a CIT folder, so lowercase CIT, but I already have one, so we're going to just go into there. And we can see a bunch of other files from my other tutorials, but just to stay organized, I'm going to go up to new folder and I'm going to call it armor, all lowercase. And we're just going to open this bad boy up. Now, if you have downloaded the default resource pack for Minecraft, I would highly recommend going over to that one right now. So I'm going to go back into resource packs. You can download this using the link in the description. I will provide one for a website and I'm going to go over to the assets, Minecraft. We're going to go into textures. I'm going to go into models, armor, and you will see all of the armor in Minecraft. Now we are not going to be editing any of these. We are going to be making new armor. However, I like to use these as a sort of base texture that we can just edit and make into a new texture. So it doesn't matter which one you get, but I'm going to go and get the iron armor. So iron layer one and iron layer two. Make sure you get both of these. Otherwise, you're going to have some issues with the leggings or everything else. So I'm going to control C that and we're going to go back into resource packs and go back into that CIT folder. So Optifine, CIT, Armor, and we're gonna just paste those two in there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is open up paint.net and we're gonna start editing these two files. All right guys, so I am back in paint.net. Obviously uh, this is not iron armor unless you're colorblind. So I changed this into gold simply because we're gonna be making emerald armor and this is already colorful. So we have both of them in here. And what I'm gonna do just to make this easy because this is gonna look just like green regular armor is I'm gonna go over to adjustments and hit hue and saturation. And we're gonna play around with these until we get, ooh, maybe bronze armor actually. You know what, bronze armor, we'll be making, no, we're not, we're gonna make emerald armor. So I'm gonna play around these settings until I find one that I sort of like. I'm thinking that that looks kind of nice. 47, 72, negative four. But if you're not gonna be making emerald armor and just changing the hue, what I'd recommend doing is finding a template of armor or blocking it out yourself. So if I get the square tool, you can see this is one edge of the armor. Let me change my color to white. This is another edge. This is another edge and I'm holding shift to keep those squares. That's another edge and then that is another edge. So if you are gonna be making custom armor textures, you wanna make them within these. But I am just making emerald armor, so I'm just gonna stick with the hue. 
And once you are all done with your texture, I'm gonna go up to File, Save As. I'm gonna make sure that we are in the correct folder. And I'm gonna save this as Emerald Layer 1. And the reason that this is Layer 1 while the leggings are Layer 2 is because the leggings are actually rendered differently than the chest plate, helmet, and boots. So these are the boots over here in this corner. These are, or this is the chest plate, and then this is the helmet. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing on our second layer. Uh, if we press on hue saturation, it will actually keep the same settings, which is very nice. And I'm gonna go up to file, save as, and we're gonna save this one as emerald layer two. And now we can close out of paint.net and start our miniature coding for this to work. All right, so I am back in my file explorer. I'm going to just remove the two gold layers because we really don't need it. And I'm going to create a new text document. So right click go over to new and we're going to hit text document. And we are going to make four properties files in total, one for each of the armor pieces. So I'm going to start off with the emerald underscore helmet. And it does not matter what you call it, as long as you end it with dot properties. And you wanna make sure that when it says type, it says properties file. If it says text file, then you gotta make sure that you go up to view and make sure file name extensions are enabled because that is how you can actually make sure that it is not a text file and that it will work. And once you've made that, I'm going to now open this up in edit with notepad plus plus. Now, once you're in notepad plus plus, we're gonna to need to do a few lines of code, actually three minimum. So the first one that we're gonna do is type equals armor. Obviously this is just telling Optifine that this is a piece of armor and that is what we are trying to replace. The next one that we're gonna type is items equals, and this is where we're gonna type what item we are gonna be replacing. So for me, I'm going to be doing a netherite helmet. Actually, let's do a diamond helmet. Diamonds, diamonds better. So diamond underscore helmet, and that is gonna be the ID of a Minecraft item. So make sure that you don't misspell it, make sure that it's all lowercase and make sure that all spaces have a underscore. And this is emerald layer one, so that includes the emerald helmet that we got. So we are gonna replace the diamond layer one, which has a diamond helmet. So if we go back in, we're gonna type texture dot diamond underscore layer underscore one because that is the layer that the diamond helmet is on. And we are going to set that equal to emerald underscore layer underscore one. So all we're basically doing is referencing that the diamond helmet texture is going to be replaced with the emerald texture. And if you mapped out both the images correctly, this will look almost identical except different colors. However, there are a few more options that we can do to make this texture more specific to an item. So the first one that we're gonna cover is nbt dot display dot and then capital N name, then do a colon, and we have a few choices to do right here. The first one is pattern, and what that means is that a player can rename the item in an anvil, and as long as they name it with the correct capitalization in all lower cases, the item texture will show up. If you add an I to the beginning of that word, then it will not be case sensitive. So as long as you have the name in there, you will get the texture showing up. The other ones that we got are rejects and I rejects. Rejects basically means that there are two acceptable names. And the way that you format that is you put another colon, you make two parentheses and then a long dash in the middle. It's not an I, it's not that, it's not an L. It's like a long dash and then you can put the two names on either side and i rejects of course just makes that not case sensitive i never use rejects because it's kind of dumb and stupid and i don't care if i hurt its feelings because it's very dumb and stupid so i'm just going to use i pattern and we're going to put another colon and this is where we're going to put the name of our armor piece so i'm going to do emerald helmet but if you want to have color codes then there is an easy fix to this and you can put an asterisk before and after this and what that means is that if any words are after, so for example, tele, dubby, whatever, if that is after what you type in the anvil, this texture will still show up because the asterisks just mean whatever is inside, as long as that is included in the name, it will work. 
And the reason that it works with colored names is because the color is given after the emerald helmet. So it works fine. That's all you need to know. It works. Another thing that you can do is lore of an item. So this is good for map making. So what we can do is nbt dot display dot lore and then we need to put another dot and you can either target either the first line of the lore the second line or if you want to target all of them you can use an asterisk and again you can just type a colon you can do eye pattern or pattern or rejects and then you can just give it the lore so i am very handsome and nice and smart and also you should subscribe however i do not want a lore in my item so we're just going to unalive that Another thing that you can do is damage, and you can set this to a percentage between 0 and 100%, and this will test how damaged the item is. I've never used damage, however, if you are trying to make diminishing armor, which will slowly fade as the armor becomes more beat up, this is a good way to do that. And the last thing that we're going to cover is enchantments. So enchantments will detect if a piece of armor has enchantments. Now a few people were asking me what would happen if I say unbreaking as well as blast protection so like this so formatted exactly like this and what this means is if the item has blast protection or not and or unbreaking it will show the texture if you want to show the texture only if a item has unbreaking and blast protection you can just duplicate the enchantments equals and then you will have it only selected to unbreaking and blast protection helmets but we're not going to do that so i'm just going to stick with the nbt.display.name emerald helmet and from there i'm just going to save that as it is in the folder and i'm going to just control c and control v this and i'm going to just change the name to emerald chest plate and you can copy the helmet document and make it for the chest plate and the boots and for leggings I will show you how to do that but first let's go into emerald chest plate we're gonna change the name helmet to chest plate and we're gonna change the diamond helmet to a diamond chest plate this way we're not editing the diamond helmets texture when it's actually a chest plate so we're gonna save that and we're gonna do it one more time we're gonna call it emerald underscore boots we're gonna change chest plate to boots and we're gonna change the diamond chest plate to boots. And the final thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to just duplicate the helmet and we're gonna call this emerald leggings, but we're gonna change another thing in here. So like before, we're gonna do emerald leggings and the diamond leggings for the item. But since the leggings are on layer two, we're also gonna change the diamond layer to diamond layer two and the emerald to emerald layer two. This way we're editing the right file. And that is all that you need to do for the actual model of the armor. I know a lot of you guys want to see how to actually edit the item preview in your GUI, but I'm going to save that for another video. So, so you know, smash like for that video. I mean, you know. So I'm gonna head back into Minecraft and we are going to test our, our new emerald armor. I'm pretty excited. All right, guess who is very stupid? Make sure that your thing spelled correctly. <laughs> I spent at least 10 minutes checking out why that was not working and I know why now and I'm not happy. I blame I blame John Kennedy. All right, me boys and me girls, we are back in Minecraft. And as you can see, it is not working for numerous reasons. Number one, I got netherite gear on. So let's just take that off. And secondly, we do not have our resource pack on. So we're gonna go to escape, options, resource pack. And we're gonna go get the resource pack tutorial, tutorial by the terrain. Now we are definitely in our resource pack. I can already tell by the cro <coughs> crosshair. Jeez Louise. So we're gonna go into our inventory. We're gonna I'm not even gonna ask why that is Alex, but if we go in and we get ourselves some diamond armor, you can see we are fully decked in diamond armor. That's pretty cool. And if we replace the word diamond with the word emerald, wherever it appears, then when we gear up, we now have some green armor going on and we looking kind of snazzy, I'm not gonna lie to you. And just to prove this, I do have diamond boots on right now. 
and as soon as we swap them out for emerald boots you can see the texture actually changing so this is not modifying any existing armor but we are instead creating some new ones and i need to get rid of this helmet because i look kind of dumb and that is why we are no helm gang over here and with that showcase that is going to be the end of our tutorial if you like this video make sure to like it and maybe even subscribe we post a lot of tutorials the next tutorials that i'm going to be posting are an update to making custom item textures so we're going to be making actual items that look like emerald armor so thank you for watching i am the terrain peace out